Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today is a new day and I think we're going to kind of do a little bit more to this plumbing down here and I figured I'd bring you guys along and let's get you down there. Make sure you stay to the end because you guys are going to want to see what I'm going to end up doing to this plumbing. So make positive sure you stay all the way to the end and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like it, Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Smash that bell notification, go all the way up and click the bell and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. And share us on your social media pages. And speaking of social media pages, why don't you follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Videos. I put some pictures and some old throwback videos and stuff on there that I don't put on YouTube. So to kind of give you guys a little up on everybody else. So with all that being said, let me show you what the plumbing is down here. You guys have already seen it. So let me get started on it and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, don't that look so much better? I mean, I think that plumbing looks a whole lot better there on the floor than it does anywhere else. So stick around, you'll see what we're doing. Let's see, let's get you guys moved over here and get you down here on the work all right let's roll this tripod on down here a little bit there we go and that's where we were okay can you tell what we changed yeah you probably can't but keep watching till the end and you'll see what we changed and we're over to here which is actually our shower yeah I know it's got to be stubbed up but there's gonna be a fake wall there well it won't be a fake wall it'll be a real wall but it just won't be any use you'll see when I get there so continue on all right, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip here. When you're working on plumbing, when you're working on plumbing, it's smart. If you already know how much materials you need for certain little things, like here I already know that I need these two stub outs. Actually, I need three. A little carried away on that one. That one has already been primed. To go ahead and prime, that one's already been primed. Go ahead and pre-prime them. That lets your primer get plenty enough dry. Before you... Uh, get started on it and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece right here I think nah, I'm going to grab this little scrap piece here and we'll go ahead and come back to about right there this is not precision work because these are just stub outs my little four inch stub outs to go through the wall board But if you already know all this, it's nice to go ahead and get them and get them primed and cleaned. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the caps on this one. Actually, on all three. And just a little bit of a twist. Just a little bit of a twist. <laughs> a 
a little bit of a twist. Now that I've got all those prepared, now I don't have to wait on the primer and stuff to dry as much. And now I can just continue on. Just a little quick tip. Just a little quick tip to go ahead and use your purple primer cleaner on it. And also, sometimes on a lot of them, you'll see me grind the edges off of that. With, you know, a lot of times, like if I've got a little bit of a burr on it, I'll just kind of go like that. But you can also, and I've got it down here, use a piece of sandpaper. And that'll do it too. Boy, I tell you what, that kerosene heater is really smoking in here. But anyway, so I just wanted to give you that little quick tip real quick. All right. And just like that, all of that there is done. All the plumbing, as you can see, is done again. So why did I do that? Why did I rip out all the old plumbing? And this is really all I got left. I only ended up using, the first time I used four sticks, this time I only used two, and I used a lot of the scrap, which, can you call it scrap if it's actually never had water through it? Okay, let me explain to you why I did that. Some of you already know, some of you have very nicely asked me about it, and it brought it to my attention. Some of you have been kind of mean about it, which just, I don't know, I don't know why you do that, but you do. So we use the purple, purple primer cleaner and it is good for C, PVC, and PVC. But then we use the blue glue, which you can see medium blue PVC cement. This is good for my drain lines because my drain lines, if you can see the difference, how my drain line is really, really, really white, that's PVC. The bone color water lines is PVC, PVC. <coughs> so we had to switch glues. And here it says it does PVC, CPVC, and ABS, and others. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I made a mistake, people. I honestly just literally made a mistake. I probably would have noticed it on my own, but thankfully I have some really good subscribers out there. I have one say, you know, hey, look, you know, you're using blue and that's for PVC only. And of course, yes, I did. I made a mistake, but I thought, well, it'll be okay. So I looked it up and yeah, it does say it could fail throughout the years. Well, I don't want to, it, it could fail. That was a $19 mistake. And I still have some fittings left over. So that was all total, probably $15 mistake. It took me, I don't know what time it is. Let me see what time it is. I can tell you exactly how long it took me. <coughs> oh, ooh, wow, it took me a little over an hour to do. I wouldn't think that, but oh well, it did. It, it took me almost an hour to fix my mistake. I made positive sure that everything was done correctly this time. Not that I didn't before. I just used the wrong glue. We all make mistakes. I am owning up to my mistake. I fixed my mistake. It wasn't a costly mistake, but thank God that somebody pointed it out, or I would have eventually noticed it, is taken care of. All the insulation's back in place. Everything is done. All I have to do is put my uh, clips on the wall to hold the to hold like where it comes up right here. I'm going to put clips on that to hold that in. You know, it goes back well past what my wall should actually be, but I like to make them secure. So I'll secure. Oh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I'll secure four, maybe five to the wall. And then that job is done. I'm ready for walls to go up. Uh, we have all the electrical in. I still do have to remember a, a light for up top. That can actually probably come down from the ceiling. We'll have to see on that. But there you go, people. I made a mistake. 
So, but, you know, I still got all glue and dirty, and you just can't see the glue. The glue's kind of clear. So, thank you, thank you to the few that was nice enough to point it out nicely. As far as the people that was hateful about it, well, they're gone. You'll, you'll never see them post again. So, somebody else post hateful about it, I'll get rid of it. You can tell I make mistakes. I don't mind criticism. I don't mind somebody telling me that I made a mistake. Be nice when you do it. Other than that, uh, I had somebody that I follow their channel. They asked me about the drain. You know, do you not have to have a sewage drain? I did put in my two sewage pipes here, and I'll have a commode and a shower that has to go in. But the drain will be outside. Once I connect all four of my drains together, then there will be a drain outside going up. I have a loft above. I don't have anywhere really good to run a drain through. So or my, a vent, excuse me, a vent for my drain through. So my drain will be on the outside. I'll try to paint it whatever color I can to make it look the best. I will make it look nice. Might even build a little box around it, who knows. Anyways, with that being said, Hope you guys have a great day, and even better tomorrow, and even awesome night. And I might be able to own up to my mistakes and take care of them, but I'm still my own cameraman. And that means we got to get up close and personal, and i got to poke you guys in the ear. So I will see you on the next video. Hope you have a super, super great day.